Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel again. Um, I've done the crunching of the numbers for this engine and I did order a new hub which came yesterday uh, with new studs, new cone and uh, just for ease I am actually going to put it onto this engine. Um, the total cost of this engine so far to date, um, complete with this rear hub, it was £1,263.20, so we'll call it £1,260 for argument. But um, what we need to do is just clean out these linings, because they would have been greased to keep them um, clean and stop them going rusty. I'm very, very impressed with the quality of this rear hub. I've not tried it, literally just taken it out of the box and uh, I know nothing other about it other than um, people would keep saying good things about them. So what we're gonna do is spray some brake cleaner inside the linings and use a clean rag and give all of the linings a nice wipe. And to be honest with you, there's not a ton of uh, grease coming off of there. At all, and what we also need to do, if you remember what I said in the beginning, was because this has been around, we need to get all the brake shoes cleaned. So, again, give them a good wipe. There is a special tool that actually trims these up, takes a bit of the uh, the shoe material off and makes them completely round not oval um, it actually goes on here um, i haven't got that so i have to rely on good old trial and error but if we just take off our nut and our washer and i'm just showing you again that there is a shim that's the bearing the inner race on the bearing rear hub bearing and this is our spacer for our back wheel I'm using a slightly bigger offset um, spacer from MB it just brings the wheel slightly this way um, so if somebody wants to put a bigger um, back tire on back wheel it clears so it's it's sort of a double-edged sword so we open up the packet and inside the packet we've got our hub uh, cone and that goes over the cutout goes over one of the splines so in the middle push it on can actually tap it on and we've got our studs here which are I'll, in this case I'm going to put on after the hubs on but um, let's chop that away and uh, I have got a hammer, so, yep, a little hammer. So I'm just going to tap on that could do with just going around a tad, that's it. So we're on there. What I'm going to do as well before I put the hub on, I'm going to put some um, brake grease on just on that cam. So, Not tons of it, just a little bit. That should be fine. Put that grease back over there again. It's copper grease basically for Put on the cams that's already on here so right let's get this nut out of the way and just move the engine around a tad it shouldn't need jacking up or anything i haven't made the um the actual um brackets to start it on the floor yet so what we're looking at is we're looking at lining that up 
compared to the other um, hub which I was going to use that would just slide on there this is rock solid I mean, there's no play at all you know that that's uh, quite unbelievable how nice and tight that is um, I'll tell you what I did need to do just put some grease inside there as well so I'll just push that back off again and if I show you in here I'm just putting a dab of grease in there and on the splines again not a ton of it so we need to now uh, I need to rub some of that off actually because it's on the inside right I'm just putting it on there for the time being because I need to be at eye level and we're back to our washer and not This is a problem now because there's no resistance. There's going to be a sod to get any uh, talk into that. But uh, get the grease out of the way again. And put my 27 mil on there. I say I'm not talking this up at the moment. stick it into a gear into a gear not in between the gears that'll do I'm just turning over the piston and barrel there That's exactly how I wanted it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick on the the washer. Just bear in mind it's not where it should be at the moment. I'm hoping one of them holes will line up. And sods law they don't. That one's quite a way out. That one was not. stick it into uh, maybe second might give me a bit more oh. it's almost impossible on the bench to do that so I'm more than happy with that. That's running lovely on its rear hub bearing. I'll just have to make sure I don't lose these. Put in my washer again. Um, this rear hub because I've got dirty hands. I'll need a wipe. Right, what we can do is stick on our our studs. And I'm looking for a couple of uh, washers that are missing on there as well. I think these are 12s, aren't they? Yeah. And we'll do one at a time. Again, you don't want tons of this on it. Oh, right, we'll we just squirt it out. That'll do. That's probably a bit too much, actually. It on the threads and we'll do that one because it's on the top so all we've got to do is undo it hit the 12 on there
just going to do them off camera. You can see what I'm doing anyway. It's just that the camera is banging my way. Right, uh, apart from talking down the rear hub nut, putting on the locking washer and um, torque bolt, this engine is complete. Um, it's just when I get the engine um, frame that I'm building made, um, I can stick it on the garden and then put some petrol and fire it up. All the electronics are there ready to be collect, uh, connected even, not even collected. Um, it will need a good polish up and wipe down. <clears throat> but um, there's no reason in the world why this won't be a, a really nice engine. It, you know, it's got all virtually all new bits in it. Or um, good used parts. Uh, like I say, this is brand new. The brake shoes are in a Chentium brand new. The mechanism's brand new. Of every single bearing's brand new in the scooter. Um, new electronic kit. New piston barrel head. Um, it's got pull down. Well, if you look at the uh, the previous videos, you'll see what's gone into the engine. It's um, I've not scrimped and saved on anything. Um, and, it, and it was built from um, an engine block that I bought off of eBay. So um, the engine block itself was 65 quid plus £10 postage, which I took a gamble on a, on a block thinking that I might have to have some welding done. And, you know, it's turned out to be a really nice block. So sometimes you win. It's not always a lose. Um, you know, but I was prepared to... Um, have it welded if it was needed. Luckily enough, it, it wasn't. The usual weak spots on the uh, gearbox um, end plate, they were fine. The uh, A couple of these, if I'm being totally honest, were um, a bit deep. Um, you know, it's what I probably should have done was measured them and pulled them out a slight bit or even bought longer. Uh, on GP, the Innocenti GPs, they had... Um, bolts anyway and washers so you know it they were cheapening it up all the time um you know there was less scooters being sold and um less of a market for them so they i suppose they had to uh, i mean that turns so easy that's just i can't tell you how easy that's turning really 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 happy with this engine um the gearbox um as you can see when i put it in you could turn it with one hand. I mean, I can't, I'm, I'm in neutral at the moment, so uh, <clears throat> you're not gonna turn that with one hand in gear, but um, what can I say? Um, there'll be one more video on this when I do build the um, the mount for it, um, the test rig, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> I'm just trying to, um, in, in this week, trying to sort of get that together, uh, hopefully, um, I'm not 100% busy this week and I can get it done during the day. I've already got um, quite substantial uh, aluminium. Uh, it's what, four by four, or at least three by three. I've measured it. Um, <clears throat> post, so I'm going to stick two across this way, one across this way, <clears throat> one up, one in the front so that it can't turn that way when you're kicking it and i've got somewhere to put a um, petrol um tank uh just a temporary tank um to run it up and um i could get a wheel put on there and talk up the the rear hub but we've got no oil seals i mean uh, sorry oil leaks as you can see it's uh it's, it's gone together pretty well i'm quite happy with it at the moment i mean the time the test of the uh, of the beast will be when we fire it up and see how nice it revs and what have you um, I've still not put on the carburetor but like I say I always tell people to um, you know keep that clear because you don't want anything on your piston and barrel I've got a few little marks on here that need polishing um, you know it all in all what can I say it's not a brand new engine it never was going to be a brand new engine but um, as a, a project I mean, quite happy how it's turned out, to be honest. I say, you know, there's not many that I've seen even built by dealers that will do that. You know what I mean? That is really nice. 
how that's turning on its bearings with little or no I mean obviously the less um, friction you've got the the more power will go to the back wheel it's, uh, it's and don't get me wrong this is not a racing bike um, <clears throat> by any means of the imagination it's it's never it never will um, but it, it should keep up with most 200s um, I would say standard 200 it should uh, hold its own with that so it's not going to be a slug um, it should be a totally rideable um, engine anyway um, like I say it's got good gearbox uh, <clears throat> good clutch in it all brand new all new springs uh, plungers new engine sides new um, the only thing like I say that I might have to do something with is the kickstart yeah um, but I'll see if it goes into my GP or even my series 2 it, it might even end up in the series 2 because it's it's going to be a bit more powerful I'm finding that very very slow riding it around um, especially after my GP which absolutely flies but um, yeah I'm more than happy with this um, and, and I hope you've enjoyed watching them like I say we'll have another video when we get this uh, on its mount ready to fire up um, and we'll see how it runs then but until then take care I do appreciate you um, watching and subscribing like I say it doesn't cost anything <clears throat> and if you learn something or well and good or if you know what I'm doing wrong I'm spotting you know I'm, I'm always open to suggestions there's a few people that have given some really good suggestions when I've been building this engine um, I don't know it all I don't know anybody who actually does know it all but um, you know touch wood so far um, all of my engines that I've built and my scooters that I've built 